Hey Blasting Friends, we are going to do a Botox free wrinkle reduction video using my super cute little um, face blaster that I created when I split up my second large blaster. You can click on the video and you can watch that. All right, so first up, we're going to use castor oil and this is really good for cleansing your skin as well as um, getting rid of wrinkles on its own. Like castor oil is great for getting rid of wrinkles. And then of course, grapeseed oil. Now normally I like to use coconut oil when I'm blasting because well, coconut oil is my Windex, but for my face, I much prefer using the grapeseed oil because it's not gonna clog my pores as much and it's much better for drier skin. And there's my little mini one, yay! Okay, so first off, gonna start up, up under my jawline and that's gonna help take care of my jowl area. So a little warning, this is sped up I spent eight minutes doing my face, and now you're going to watch it in four minutes. And of course you wanna get your neck, can't forget the neck, and the cheeks. I like to get up where the smile lines are. Those are really good. Cause I'm a smiler, I like to smile. Oh, and the forehead of course, you gotta get rid of those forehead wrinkles, especially if you're one of those, um, one of those, those quizzical people, or the sassy people. They give you that eyebrow raise, oof. I'm one of those people sometimes. Oh man, doing your forehead, I got so tingly, but it was great. And it's like, you can literally see, it's like helping to get rid of them like while you're watching the video. Of course you wanna take care of any of the lines. I'm just following the lines of my face real quick by looking in the camera and seeing if you like, like chin lines. Um, and of course the lip is great. So if you were a smoker or used to be a smoker and you have those lip lines, this will get rid of them instantly. Well, maybe not instantly, but definitely if you blast them enough, it'll definitely get rid of them. And of course, going back over the smile lines. Yay! Like I said, I'm a smiler. All right, now we're gonna go into the crow's feet because nobody likes crow's feet and I recommend wearing sunglasses to help prevent those from ever forming because um, the more you squint, the more you get them, okay? So we're just gonna take care of these, yay! I'm actually 27 and I, I am very grateful that I do not have a lot of wrinkles, mainly because I do take a collagen supplement as well as, you know, try to eat a healthy lifestyle and um, exercise daily. And that's really actually cut down on a lot of my um, saggy skin. But this is like totally helping my face. And I love to get the right above the eyebrow bone, like right above the eyebrows where the eyebrow hair is and that brow bone. That's really great. Um, kind of did that fashion. It'll keep your eyebrows from sagging as well because your muscle is right there and you want to take good care of that muscle. And of course, you've got to get up under that double chin again. Now make sure you're avoiding the jugular. Like I'm getting up under my chin so my jugular is not there, but don't go like down your neck where your jugular is. Always remain off to the side. Okay, so now we're going to go for the puffy bag region. Be careful. Do not poke yourself in the eye. Um, I almost did, but you just gotta be very cautious. But this will hopefully help just to reduce any puffiness um, as well as remove any fine lines underneath your eyes and it'll help your makeup sit better as well when you don't have as many wrinkles, right? Especially like right under the eye because I mean, who doesn't have those, right? Oh, and I love lifting my eyebrow because of course I'm an eyebrow girl and I wanna take as great care of my eyebrows <laughs> so that I can remain an eyebrow girl. Now they're flat and straight across, but they're my eyebrows and they're lovely and I just want them to stay up and lifted and not saggy because nobody wants a droopy eye as they get older. And like I said, be super careful not to poke yourself in the eyeball. All right? Because you don't want to go blind. And this is great for headaches, by the way. If you suffer from migraines, do forehead and your neck as well. And you will take care of those immediately. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have a request to see something else, don't be afraid to ask. Um, and be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to my channel. And watch all my other videos. They're awesome. You people are so supportive. I love you guys. Happy blasting.